Have you ever explored an old TV series from back in 1964? Well, get ready for some interesting stuff. This show had famous actors and was all about spies and adventures. But did you know there are some cool stories about it that not many people know? And hey, who is your favorite actor in it? Share your thoughts with us. We'd love to hear your memories and experiences with the show. So, stay tuned for more fun facts, and don't forget to tell us your stories. In hindsight, reflecting on the TV series from the 1960s, it's clear that it left a mark on entertainment history. Back then, spy-themed stories were everywhere, filling bookshelves and dominating screens big and small. The show had its own style, with action-packed scenes and simple storylines that appealed to the audience of the time. The actors brought their own charm to the screen. One was the quintessential foreign hunk, while the other provided a strong contrast. Each episode aimed to ground the story by involving an innocent civilian, a familiar trope of the era. As the series progressed, it fell into familiar patterns seen in other shows of its time. Plots became repetitive, villains predictable, and resolutions often rushed. Despite its flaws, the show remains a relic of the 60s, offering a window into the taste of the era. Compared to other spy series like The British Danger Man and Callan, it feels more dated today. These alternatives stand the test of time better, showcasing how preferences in entertainment have evolved. In conclusion, the show stands as a reminder of the past, emphasizing action over complex storytelling. It's not perfect, but it's a part of television history, showing us how far we've come in entertainment preferences. Amidst the hustle and bustle of showbiz, tales of collaboration and talent emerge. One instance showcases a notable scene change in a TV show where a swift camera pan introduces a familiar face against London's Tower Bridge. Interestingly, this scene hails from the unaired pilot episode Solo. During a pivotal weekend, a celebrated actor, recognized for his role in the TV show, made a guest appearance on a scripted podcast named Powder Burns. This appearance coincided with the premiere of a notable movie. The podcast episode aired on 8 million 190 2015 adding an interesting layer to the weekend's entertainment scene. Delving into the backgrounds of the show's contributors unveils diverse experiences. One such contributor graduated with a Bachelor of Arts degree from Fordham University in 1950. This academic journey sheds light on the individual's foundation before venturing into the world of espionage on screen. These glimpses behind the curtain offer a unique perspective on the people involved in shaping the TV series, each bringing their distinct talents and experiences to the table. Robert Vaughn, known for his roles in some big films like The Ten Commandments, The Magnificent Seven, and Bullet, was part of a popular TV series in 1964 with his co-star, David McCallum. McCallum, recognized for his roles in famous films like The Great Escape, directed by John Sturges, brought a unique charm to the screen. In the series, both good and bad guys used MP40 submachine guns, while the uncle agents carried pistols from the first season. This show, filled with spying and exciting plot twists, grabbed viewers with its intense stories and lively characters. It became well-known in TV history, leaving its mark on pop culture. Robert Vaughn, who portrayed a key character in the series, passed away approximately two weeks before Fritz Weaver, known for playing the first antagonist from the show's opposing organization, Thrush. Leo G. Carroll, another actor from the series, appeared in seven Oscar Best Picture nominees, including Rebecca, which won the award in 1940. Sharon Farrell, also associated with the show, spent three summers during her teenage years with Denver's American Ballet Theater. These diverse backgrounds and experiences contributed to the depth of talent within the ensemble cast. In the midst of 1964 television, a new star emerged, not from Hollywood's glitz, but from the world of espionage. The show he was in became a sensation, surpassing even the seasoned stars of MGM. His role as a secret agent struck a chord with audiences, making him unexpectedly popular. He was known for his portrayal of a secret agent and later as a doctor on another show. His career took an interesting turn, but it was his role as the enigmatic spy that really made him famous. As the series continued, it faced challenges. The show tried to change its style to follow the trend of comedy, but it didn't work well. Even though they tried to return to the original style, it was too late. The show ended before completing its fourth season. The actor, unintentionally becoming the hero of this television saga, experienced both the highs and lows of his character's world, leaving a lasting impact on television in 1964. The unexpected change in style ultimately led to the show's end. Robert Vaughn played a pivotal role in shaping the cast of The Man from U.N.C.L.E. In 1960, he recommended his college friend, James Coburn, for a key role in The Magnificent Seven. 
director John Sturges, facing time constraints due to an impending actor strike, accepted Vaughn's suggestion, casting the then relatively unknown actor. Jill Ireland, another figure linked to the man from UNCLE, had connections with two of its future stars. Both of her husbands, David McCallum and Charles Bronson, played prominent roles in The Great Escape, released in 1963. Interestingly, Robert Vaughn was in contention for a significant role in The Godfather. He was considered for the part of Thomas Hagen before Robert Duvall ultimately secured the role. These interconnected relationships and casting decisions contributed to the dynamic ensemble of talent associated with A Man From U.N.C.L.E., creating a web of connections that extended beyond the series itself. David McCallum, the actor, ventured into writing with Once a Crooked Man in 2016. The book, a blend of espionage, mystery, and comedy, spans 337 pages in hardcover, published by Minotaur. Robert Vaughn, known for his role in the series, was linked to the premature cancellation of the A-Team. His character, along with Eddie Velez's, altered the dynamics of the show, leading to its finale in December 1986. Vaughn, recognized for his versatility, turned down the role of E.K. Hornbeck in Inherit, the wind in favor of filming The Magnificent Seven in 1960. The part eventually went to Gene Kelly. Originally, Will Kiluva was to play the head of Uncle, but was replaced by Leo G. Carroll. After the pilot was screened for the network executives, they told the producers to get rid of the foreign guy. They really meant for David McCallum's Russian character to get the axe, but the producers thought they meant Kiluva. David McCallum, in the 1960s, recorded four albums for Capitol Records with music producer David Axelrod. The best known of his pieces today is The Edge, which was sampled by Dr. Dre as the intro, and riff to the track the next episode, Am I, a by Missum Links, and No Regrets by Master Ace. In the miniskirt mom, Deanne McBain slaps Sherry Jackson eight times. In the meat puzzle, Jethro Gibbs is asked what Dr. Donald Ducky Mallard looked like as a young man. Gibbs replies Ilya Kuryakin. Ilya Kuryakin is the name of McCallum's character in the series, a role for which he was nominated for two Emmys and a Golden Globe. He is the only one of the three original stars who never appeared on the spin-off series The Girl from UNCLE. The name Ilya Kuryakin comes from a Broadway play written and directed by Jules Dyson. Ilya Darling is Dyson's musical adaptation of his earlier film Never on Sunday or in Greek poet Tin Kyriaki. The Kuryakin character is Russian and Dyson was blacklisted for years as a suspected communist. In the world of entertainment, connections between actors and the characters they play can be fascinating. Take, for example, Leo G. Carroll, who left a strong impression on audiences with his role in a famous spy series. The acronym Thrush. From the show was a mystery to many, but it was later explained in one of the novels based on the series. Alongside Carroll was Robert Vaughn, who showcased his versatility by playing similar characters in different movies. Vaughn's ability to switch between roles highlighted his talent. These connections between actors and their roles show how Hollywood works like a big web of talent and projects influencing popular culture along the way.